Hello guys and welcome. We're going to be doing something very fucking epic today. We're starting the beginning of a 2 versus 2 Total War PvP trio of battles. Here at the start, we're starting with a field battle, and as we can see, me and Demma have set up a very interesting defensive formation. Now, let's clarify one thing right now. This replay is bugged. It says he's Hojo, and while that may be true, it says I'm Mori, which I am most definitely not, considering I have Chosokabi bow unit. So, bug aside, Let's take a look at this formation and what we've brought before we get the play button going. So, let's start with Demma's lines right here. As you see, we got a front line of Naginata Samurai backed up by Bo Samurai and Hojo Fire Rockets going down, curving off to the side here. Same setup, even more Fire Rockets. Yep, pretty static front line. Meeting up with my front line with Naginata Samurai with Choso Kabe Bo Samurai behind it. Some more Naginata Samurai over here with no bows to support, but uh, we got some Bow Cav, actually. I brought two Bow Cav. Chosokabi Bow Hero for versatile placements. Back here we have our generals. I brought Chosokabi Moto Chika himself, and he brought a uh, general. Yeah, I brought two Great Guard, and let's see, in the woods here, Dema has some Naginata Warrior Monks. A lot better in melee fighting, but not as armored. They're hidden back here. And I'll explain some of our strategy in a moment. I have a katana hero. Notice all these units are facing this way. The edge of the map, right? We'll get to that in a moment. For now, let's take a look. I also have hidden in the trees here, katana samurai. Katana samurai, katana samurai, katana samurai. Just very spread out and just kind of really keeping an eye over here. And on the other side, we have... T-Master playing as Hattori. We don't see a lot of his units, honestly, but we do see some barricades, and this is how I knew he had a lot of hidden units over here. But from what we do see, he has some Naginata Samurai just spread about, Vanguard deployed ahead of his Oda ally, and clearly here there's a fuck ton of bows or something, otherwise these barricades wouldn't be here. In the back we have Dr. Dave, Playing as Oda with a front line of long Yari Ashigaru. Here's uh, T's general. We have Oda Bo Ashigaru up in the rear. Oda Long Yari right behind them. Even more. Wow. Two great guard. The spears of Shizuku Taki. And a general. Now these are pretty crazy armies. Let's hit play and get a move on. At the very start of the battle, everyone was just kind of looking over each other's armies and trying to figure out what to do. So... There was a lot of strategy that went into this battle beforehand, and basically what I told Demo was, up until this point, your biggest strength has been sitting back and defending with a defensive formation. So that's what they're going to predict. So they're going to play offensively. So let's give them what they predicted. So we work together to form this really crazy defensive formation that we have going on here. These guys in the back, his uh, warrior monks and my katana hero, are specifically because we are expecting from T some sneaky ninja flanking tactics. I'm, c I'm content that my katana hero can defend my general, but he wanted to go a little excessive with four Naginata warrior monks. It's a versatile placement in case we need some rear placements. We got Oda starting to reform, seemingly going around this way for a full frontal offensive rather than risking the woods, we still can't see most of T's army. And this had me a little concerned considering his playstyle and the fact that he's Hattori. So one thing I was talking to Demma about at around this point was saying, we kind of, we need to get an eye on what's over here. We need to see where the rest of his troops are because he's not even moving. And if we wait too long, potentially, He's going to crash in on us here while Dave crashes in on us on the other side. Now, while we have prepared for that, that's still not an optimal situation. So we wanted to kind of avoid it. And we're going to take some action on that here in a moment. As we see, De uh, Demma 
is redeploying his warrior monks right now, or at least a good amount of them, because he sees Dave's attack coming. I seem to be just holding my position for now, kind of debating on what to do, and here we go! Here's my action, the bow caver moving up, full, uh, well, uh, I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, they're going forward into the tree line and they're going to investigate and see what the hell T is hiding over here. I figure they're, cav they're nimble enough, I don't really have to worry. I'm sending this one ahead. Alright. I sent Faramir forward. And as we find, there's a lot waiting for us. And I immediately ran away. But Faramir didn't really get away with much either, huh? But yeah, we learned he has a fuck ton of bow samurai back here. Even matchlocks hiding. It was insane when I peeked at all this and lost 15 bow cav. And I decided, all right, so I got to sit back. Luckily, oh, oh, and what do we have over here? Kisho ninjas already revealed. And the warrior monks went forward to kind of deal with them. Archers turning to kind of give them hell and these are just regular ninjas too So they're not gonna do that much damage, but they're starting to get some fire in as we expected from T We knew this would happen. We saw this coming Naginata samurai breaking out of the formation Oh, and the warrior monks coming in as well to just kind of get this unit out of the fight and get it out of the fight right now Before any other crazy shit starts they showed themselves way too early and as a result they're dead. Demma did a great job spotting this down and taking him out, but now he has to reform this formation because this is our impregnable wall that we're hiding behind. <sighs> Dave is still moving along his way. Some Yari Samurai from T on this end. Really interesting. Now, one of the things T... Oh, T's getting a move on. One of the things T was complaining about with his army setups is he wanted to actually play more defensive, which is why he set up like these pickets over here for the matchlocks and the other defenses back here. Ooh, and I have saw the bow samurai, I think, firing through the woods. Yeah, I do. He was complaining about his defensive formation because he didn't bring any artillery or anything to poke us with, meaning he kind of had to come to us because we had more skirmishers than he did. I'm running my bow cap back a bit now. Fire rockets from Demma firing into the woods and getting some hits, but not many kills. I think that was a bit of a waste of ammo. But as of right now, it's a bunch of posturing, a bunch of little skirmishing back and forth. Nothing too big. They know they have to come to us, especially since I'm getting some. Look at this. This good harassing fire. Let's see. Oh, they, he ran away, though. Yeah, he's afraid of the skirmishing, though. So he's not willing to run into it, especially when he can stay ba back here with the cover of the matchlocks and etc. But I'm still... I got some kills from him. But Dave, uh, I don't think Dave's wasting any time right now. Yep. He's getting a full move on. The battle is about to begin, guys. I know we're like nine minutes into the video or whatever, but uh, yeah, I admit, this has been an, a, kind of an exciting pre-battle. Oh, we have some more fire rockets coming through the woods and hitting the long Yariashigaru charging forward. Charging forward already. Pretty, uh, oh, and fire rockets. They're escorting the fire rockets. That's what's happening. He's going to try to take a bite out of Demma's defensive line right here with these fire rockets. Charging the Long Yari forward as a distraction, and here it comes. He's aiming for his Hojo fire rockets. Kind of smart. Ooh, getting some bites out of the bow samurai. All oh, the fire rockets were just destroyed by that. It's upsetting. Naginata samurai charging forward. He's breaking his defensive line. Oh, just to scare him away, it looks like. Already running back. Fire Rockets coming overhead after his, and let's see the damage we got here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Not not quite the damage he got, but uh, still good. We got some more shots. There you go. Beautiful. Over here, I'm sending my bow cav forward. I, I saw Demma's predicament here and sent the bow cav to eliminate these Fire Rockets as I could. But then he started charging cav forward to counter mine, so I kind of eased off on that a little bit really fast-paced battle even though we haven't really started yet it's it's really hard to keep up with so if i miss some stuff i apologize but yeah he's been he's been breaking his defensive line to kind of harass this down and i still i have my bow cab up here I, I have one up here my other is back here the damaged one's back here we got t starting to move up a full frontal assault now yeah he's moving forward everything 
Everything is moving forward now. It's gonna get started. Look, he ran into my katana ambush in the trees with his matchlocks and Naginata samurai and I'm rushing at him trying to get some damage in and now here I'm starting to while still hidden sneakily move these katanas towards them as well I have four in the woods and I know I can get some good flanking tactics going on the matchlocks already taking a fucking beating and it's great let's take a look what's happening over here my bow bow cab over here getting some good harassing fire on the spears and she's a kataki and oh they just disappeared but I think we got some good hits on him Running the bow cab away because we got some uh, some oh fire God. rockets on him. Oh, brutal. I just lost like five in that shot. Matchlock's hiding in the trees, but now starting to take bow fire from my Chosukabi bow samurai, and I don't think they can really do much. Katana's now revealed running, I believe now. Yeah, running into the rear of these matchlock samurai. Oh, here we go. Naginata Samurai beginning the melee attack against my Naginata. I gotta move my Chosakabi bows back. These bow cap coming over to provide some um, some harassing fire. A lot of melee fire, but look what we found! Hanzo's Shadows, the most elite ninja unit in the game. Dema actually pointed this out for me and I rushed my Katana Hero because T was too busy protecting his front line and I knew the Katana Hero would make quick work of these boys. His most elite and expensive unit on the field. And my katana hero has rushed in and is already, look at this, just slaughtering Hanzo's shadows. They don't stand a chance against the katana heroes. And just like that, look at how fast they're falling. Absolutely amazing. They don't stand a, ch a chance. I only lost two. He's lost 15. So we know how that's going to end. Let's take a look up front. This charge is really starting to fall. Knocking out a samurai supported by bows moving up on my end. We got a good knocking out a katana supported defense against his Hattori knocking out a samurai. More knocking out a pushing up here. I got my other katanas in the woods sneakily moving up as we see Hanzo's shadows have completely died. And with that, oh wait, well, they're almost dead. And with that, that's one less thing to worry about. Great guard pulling up over here for some sneaky stuff on the side. Let's take a look at Demo's side. Dave hasn't actually landed yet. He hasn't landed his frontline assault, but he's coming in. Let's take a look over here. We got a nice Naginata charge, looks like. Into my front lines here. My front line's still waiting. We're holding our formation. Let's take a look at this fucking arrow fire over here. Just exchanging shots on either side. I'm firing into his archer. He's firing into my melee forces. Really picking our targets. We see fire rockets coming overhead from Dave's forces. Really pounding Demma's front lines by the looks of it. Oh man, look at the blood. Look at the blood. Let's say, ooh, what is this? Great guard? Oh no, Bocav moving in over here. What are they doing? Supporting over here with some harassing fire by the looks of it. Oh yeah, because he has matchlock samurai still over here and I'm using the Bocav to take him out. Both of my Bocav and it looks like it's really, really effective. Charging some depleted katana samurai in is a mixture of fodder and something that kind of crash down in on him so naginata as well to really take care of this and anything else he has left over here which just seems to be this and it's already starting to fall apart from the uh, the bow cav fire but here we go oh they're broken just like that didn't even need to charge him. beautiful beautiful it's an insanely close battle guys still looks like demo's front lines have clashed with days look at the naginata uh, warrior monks taking on the Oda Long Yari, just charging in for going their pikes. It's this is fucking insane. Oh, we got some a charge here from the Long Yari into some what are these bow samurai? Ooh, good play, good play by Dave here. These bow samurai aren't gonna last against all this shit. He got some of Demas archers out of the field right here. Looks like we got ooh, what's this? The general that. Demma's moving up his general to provide some rallies and inspiring to his troops. Really risky move with Oda Long Yari up at the front, but he's moving some more Naginata warrior monks to reinfo reinforce this crumbling front line. Luckily, he has a good supply of them. Let's take a look over here. Naginata warrior monks falling under the Oda Long Yari charge. This is actually pretty nuts, guys. Pretty nuts. Let's take a look at the front. I have actually pushed up my Chosukabi Bow Samurai, my, my Katana Samurai up into these front lines. I've completely swept around T's front lines here and I'm pushing him 
towards Dave. What you haven't seen is I've actually been chasing his general, but he keeps running it away and trying to use it as bait. I'm not falling for it though. I'm going after a mixture of his units and such that are up here. Notice even with the, the bow cab and everything, I'm just kind of hurting him in a direction. Oh, we know where uh, Dave's great guard went now. They went over here and decided to try to harass my katana, but they don't stand a chance. I countered with my own great guard. They seem to have seen some action, but I can't keep up with all this, honestly. Oh, man, this is nuts. Got the bow samurai intermingling. Skirmishing with their uh, T's bow samurai. Here we go, full katana charge into his... Hattori Bow Samurai, and just like that, I mean, this this Bow Samurai unit is basically, basically just fucked now. They're not going to stand a chance. Look at them. Look at them all dying super quick. Beautiful. Beautiful. T's front lines have collapsed completely under my wraparound charge. Great Guard, still plenty of units in reserves. Katana Hero, my general. He has his general pulled back, Demo. Uh, looks like his... Knocking out a warrior monk completely flushed out this front line, but uh, Dave, uh, Dave still has a front line of units here, and Demo's front line here has completely fallen apart. Both samurai and some Naginata samurai are gonna completely fall now under a mixture of Dave's Odolong Yari and T's Naginata samurai. This is a uh, they're surrounded, so this is this is a slaughter. Dave and T at this point in the battle really need to, and they are teaming up to really try to focus their forces because they can still win this, but I'm rushing over to Demma's aid to try to reinforce my ally with my Naginata Samurai, and potentially, looks like, yep, even some bows I think I sent for, yep, my bow cav, to reinforce this before our two opponents could actually kill this many units unopposed. Looks like my Bocav, ooh, look at this, my Bocav is starting to take some serious fire from, uh, oh, from Dave's bow, Ashigaru, really good move here. Dem is trying to get his bow samurai back, I'm moving my Naginata samurai and my bow, my bows and katanas over here to rush into this front line to try to make sure that for every loss I'm taking with the Bocav, for every loss Dem is taking with the Bocav, we keep pushing them back and tearing them apart make sure for everything we lose they lose three or more that was that was the way to win this after they began their assault looks like i got this unit routing already my relentless push look at i wrapped around these trees over here and i'm pushing this way looks like he recovered some bow sam right here but i think i'm taking them down with this yeah my micro in this is apparently very on the dot at this point, with my wraparound push, I have surrounded them with Demma's front line that I showed up to rescue. Got my great guard coming in as well now. And we got Dave's general and T's general here, keeping their units alive. But look at it. The front line is breaking balance of power quickly, turning in our favor. And it looks like we have some insane mass routing as they're just running away from our mass charge. T's general might be calling it quits. Look at that morale bar. Look at that morale bar. Look at the map. It's just down to the generals. I think it's over, guys. But with that balance of power and the great guard charging in and getting the general routing. Just like that. And all that's left now is Dave's. And let's see. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Charging into my great guard. Great guard land their charge. And how long does it take? How long does it take? These are the elite emperor's guard. Slaughtering. He's climbing off his horses. And now, that's it. Yep. It's too late. He's running. The extra great guard coming in charge. Melee units. I, th I think it's over. It's over, guys. And just like that, this was the first battle in a three battle series of me and Demma versus T and Dr. Dave. And in this series, you will see insane improvement from every single side. You will see some insanely thought out in-depth strategies. You will see some great improv improvisational uh, tactics to shit that's going on. The next battle is a defensive siege. Well, it's a siege 
where Dr. Dave and, no, actually, it's me and Demma that are defending against Dr. Dave and Tea Master in the next battle, so... It's gonna be a real exciting series, guys. If you love this, we got two more videos of this, and I definitely want to get more really high-intensity competitive shit like this going. Let's take a look at the uh, the kill board for right now, though. My katana samurai, 159 kills, astounding. Especially because this started out hiding in a tree line. Naginata samurai, 158. Look at this, the bow cav. Look at this bow cav really fucking carried its weight. I don't see my other bow cav. Let's see. Uh, 50 didn't carry its weight. I, I think I know which one that was. But, uh, the other one more than made up for it. Let's take a look at, uh, Dr. Dave here. Oh, look at my, my Katana Hero didn't do much, but it did wipe out Hanzo's shadow, which I would say is carrying its own weight. Imagine gaining three ranks in the army for wiping out one enemy unit. Interesting. Look at the long Yari. Despite not really properly using them in this fight, not using their formations to the fullest, he still got a good amount of kills while they didn't really pull their worth. Uh, they still did a good amount of damage. Where's his fire rockets? I thought his fire rockets would have gotten more kills. Apparently not. Fired a lot of shots, but apparently didn't get the most amount of kills. General actually getting some kills. Great guard. He almost made up for one of his great guard right here, but I believe it was against me. And as we saw, my great guard went in and pretty much slaughtered. I, I'm I'm kind of upset that I missed that part, but it, I was trying to keep up with everything while keeping the battle moving. But that's going to be basically how these battles go. Demo over here, those warrior monks that all started out hidden, carrying him. Look at this. They're deadly in frontline fire. And be, because he saved them for the melee fighting and didn't keep them out and vulnerable to ranged attacks too long, he really got his money's worth, almost twice his money's worth on two of them. Insanely epic stuff here. During the entire battle too, I remember uh, I was just screaming shit constantly like orders and and telling him things that were happening on his front to kind of keep him in the loop. But he didn't really need it. He was very good at microwing a lot of his own troops. Uh, but he was a very good teammate to work with for this. Team master over here, Hattori Kisho Ninja. Kisho Ninja. I'm not sure when the hell this ninja came out. This must have been on Demma's side because I know it happened on my side and I didn't really get fucked by any ninjas. I only took down Hanzo's shadows. The These ninjas though carried his way. I wonder who they hit because these are the ones we saw in the beginning with the 12 kills that Demma killed real quick but apparently he got a lot of I believe Demma's troops with this ninja. I don't really know who though? Hattori Yari Samurai, he actually seemingly did a lot worse in terms of kills than Dave. It was a mixture of him trying to run across the water and get a frontline charge going that really kind of left him vulnerable and I took advantage of it too quickly and with Katana Samurai against his Naginatas that he didn't really get a full use out of his units unfortunately. but. This was a very exciting field battle. The formations, the tactics that went on, just epic. I loved every part of it, and I cannot wait to show you guys the next part of the series. I'm going to call this series Duo of Death, Death Duos. I don't know, something with duos in it and death, because that sounds edgy. And, uh, yeah, look forward to the next battle. Me and Demma defending against... T and Dr. Dave, and let me tell you guys, it is a brutal battle of attrition that we have coming up. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>